Know that I got rhythm that could suit your budget found You can take or leave me, oh, but you ain't got much time Cause I just keep on rolling down the line Hey, this is Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile with my last drop sale before the end of the year. Just squeezing one in right at the last minute on my normal, normal Thursday night. I, uh, once again, this is a pre-recorded video, not part of a shop hop. This is just a video I'm dropping at my normal time because I am once again in rehearsals for a community theater production, this time of Holmes and Watson, and I, rehearsals are on Thursday nights. So I'm pre-recording this. If you're not familiar with drop sales, uh, everything I'm going to show you tonight is available for purchase. The prices I will show are prices without shipping, uh, but I will ship to you. If you are interested in claiming any of these items, you simply go into the comments section of this video. Again, it's not live, so there's no live chat. There's nothing being monitored. There's no premiere. So you need to go into the comment section. YouTube will populate the comments in order that is received, and the first person that I see as claimed via the YouTube postings will be the one that uh, receives that item. You need to send me an email to the email address that's here on the screen and uh, with your shipping information, and then I will send you an invoice. Once you pay the invoice, I ship you your items. Tonight's uh, is actually somewhat of a theme. Actually, not somewhat. It really is a theme. I had purchased uh, some estate sale purchases in the past. I've already done a couple of videos showcasing a lot of the butter pats that I picked up. This is a collection of toothpick holders that I picked up actually at that same, uh, estate, same estate sale. So the original intention was to list all of these individually. I would make far more money if I were listing them individually on eBay or Etsy or even as groups. Instead, I'm listing them here very inexpensively because I just want to clear things out. I need to clear out some inventory simply to make room for other you know, living. So we're gonna start out with one of the silver plated pieces. Uh, this is backwards. This is a little chickadee, I think. I don't really know my ornithology. A little chickadee that's actually on a wishbone. And to be 100% honest, I don't know why it's on a wishbone. So I don't know if this should have been something I was selling at Thanksgiving. You know, why Why is a chickadee sitting on a turkey wishbone? I don't know. Do other birds have wishbones? I don't even know. Uh, but you can see it is a little silver plated toothpick holder with a cut engraved, um, I guess it's like a leaf pattern, fern pattern. I don't really think it's a flower. I think it's more like like kind of like an evergreen bow. So maybe it's a Christmassy one. I don't know. Uh, these are actually fairly common. It would get worn silver plate. Found all kinds of these listed online and they are all over the place in price. I think one of the things that's dictating price is condition. This one, you can see some of the silver plating has been worn away. So, you know, it's giving you that uh, patina uh, that uh, some people are looking for when it comes to silver. So you can polish this up a little bit, but someone's been a little aggressive and uh, has done as far as I'm concerned, it's done some damage, but it does give it kind of a cool look and it is just a cute piece. Uh, you could put a small votive candle in there, use it for toothpick holders, all of these. You can use them for whatever you want, but they did come from a toothpick holder collection. So I'm going to pretty much refer to these all as toothpick holders. So the Warren uh, toothpick holder, the silver plate with the little chickadee is $10 and you get that by giving me number 63. I also had, because I picked these up as a batch, I'm also going to try and go through some of these relatively quickly because there are different materials. I've got glass, I've got porcelain, I've got metal, I've got wood. So I'm gonna show you as many as I can in a short period of time. This next set, I will just say in the beginning, all of this next batch that I'm gonna be coming up, these are all $3 a piece. So there's no minimum orders. It's $3. You start paying for shipping. In most cases, you'll probably be paying, if you only buy one, you'll be paying more in shipping than you're paying for the item. But I'm trying to keep the price low enough that if you could pick these up. If you just want one, that's great. But hey, build an instant collection because for 20, 30 bucks, you could actually get a number of these. So right off the bat, I'm going to start with this little glass one that desperately, desperately, desperately wants to be uranium glass or Vaseline glass. It is not. It does not glow. It is glass, and you can kind of see that at the very, very top. You can see it somewhat translucent right there at the top. There's a little bit of a gold trim uh, that's been painted around that crenellated top. You can also see it. 
I think it's supposed to be a vine design or something that's also right there along the top, like a, uh, maybe a scroll work. It actually is so indistinct. It just, it all, I thought it was like scraped on wax. Like I thought somebody used it as a candle. Uh, so there's, that's just, just, just at the very top. The rest of it's super smooth. And then you can see there is what appears to be a de decal or something that was attached to it. I don't know if that was attached at the time it was made or if it was attached later. It looks kind of like it was decoupaged on. Um, so it's just a tiny, tiny little glass piece, toothpick holder. Again, this is from the $3 collection and you can pick up this little piece for $3 by giving me letter J, J uh, for the little uh, green glass piece. This one, a little bit larger, I kind of get some scale here. Still a toothpick holder, uh, but this one is glass. Now there's a possibility because this, there is a very tight ribbing on here. It's possible this is a match holder. It is a little bit wider than some of the toothpick holders, but it would be the same height as a toothpick holder. And I don't know if this is just a design because it's on all sides. And I don't know if a match holder, it does typically have a striker on it that you could rub this, but I don't know if it would have it on all sides. So I honestly, I don't know. Again, came from a toothpick holder collection. So I'm selling as a toothpick holder. It could be match holder. You can see the remnants. It's, it's not really because of the lights. It's not showing super, super well, but it does have uh, the gilding adjust along the top of the edges. It's starting to wear in a couple of places because there is some age to this. So just be aware of that. Uh, and as you run your fingers, there's a couple places where you can feel a couple flea bites, but in general, it's in very good condition and there's no chips or cracks or anything major on the rest of it. It's just, there's one spot as I was feel, running across it, there's a little bit of one here. And I think there's well, yeah, one right here, but you can't even see it. Uh, so but I'm putting that out there and because it's not perfect and it's a simple shape and design, also three bucks and you can get it by giving me letter R. So $3 letter R for the possible match holder. Uh, next one is press glass. This one, these are not strikers. Uh, so you can see their little like raised circles that kind of are forming a floral pattern. So I don't think those would be consistent enough to be a striker. So this one, again, I'm pretty sure this is just a actual toothpick holder. Again, same height, not quite as wide as that other one. Uh, this one is in great shape. You can see the press, uh, where'd it go? You can see the mold lines right there. There's one there and there's one on the opposite side. So this was a two piece mold, not a three piece mold. And at the very top, um, there's a couple of places where you can see like there's a, like a little bump that's not consistent, but it, it showed up I think in two of the little bays. There's another one there. So I think this was just when it was made, it was r relatively rough when it was made. So I don't think this was a high-end piece at the time it was made, but it's very attractive. Again, clear glass, cute little design, uh, press design of a flower on the bottom as well. Could hold just about anything you want and you can have it again for three bucks by giving me letter Q. $3 Q for that one. Uh, this one, I really almost kept, there's two that are like this, slightly different shapes, but they are super, 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 super simple with just this really nice wide rim at the top. I just, it's, it's clear. So you could actually put small trinkets in there. You know, if you, if you get into the little junk jar things, you can put some really small pieces in there. It would actually show them off really nicely because it's clear. Uh, again, pressed piece. You can see there's a little bit of a design, kind of like a little like wreath flared rope design that's going around the bottom. It's just very nicely done with it. This one has a very straight edge, very simple, unmarked, great piece, great condition, no chips, no cracks or anything on this one. Also three bucks by giving me letter N. So $3 and this one is for the straight sides. And let me go ahead and jump over to this one, which is similar to it. But you can see this one actually has a the sides taper down a little bit and the rim at the top is a little bit deeper. It's a, you know, it's a little bit thicker. Um, this one is in great condition where it was made. See if I can hold it away. You can kind of see at the mold line, there's kind of a little place that the glass seemed to just kind of get not molded quite as cleanly. 
it was something that was when it was made. That's not damage after the fact, but you can also see the seam from when it was made. So they weren't fire polished. So these were just, these were just inexpensive pieces. At the time they're made, they're still inexpensive. Now three bucks for the tapered size by giving me letter L $3 letter L for that one. Uh, going to another, a simple, really simple design, another pressed glass. Uh, this one has a floral pattern again at the bottom, but that tulip shape at the top, you can see it's got kind of a flared edge. Again, this is $3, no damage to this one. $3 for the little tulip by giving me letter P. Of this $3 batch, there's only one that's actually marked, and that's this tiny one. And this is small compared to some of the others. So, you know, size-wise, this is the smallest. It has a really pretty... Uh, ivy and grape cluster design uh, molded into it. And it says Coronet, C-O-R-O-N-E-T. So it's got Coronet is molded onto the bottom. Uh, did a little bit of looking, not familiar with that company. Uh, they did a lot of inexpensive pressed glass pieces. This is a really small piece. You know, the toothpicks would actually kind of tower out of this one, uh, but it was bought with the rest of the toothpick holders. So this was also three bucks for the little coronet piece. And you get that by giving me letter B. Then there is, and I'm going to hold these two up side by side because you can see there's a little bit of a differential in the glass. Um, this one's a little bit darker than the totally clear. Um, I don't think it's dirt. I, I'm trying to wipe all of these down. I just think this is an older piece. This one does have a little bit of damage, which is why it's going to be in the $3 uh, category because it's actually, I do think it's older. I think there's some beautiful design work to that. You can see those little three dot ribs all the way around the little uh, crenellated top. Unfortunately, just one of the ribs at the top broke off. It also has a really pretty floral, almost a snowflake pattern uh, pressed into the bottom. So that one is $3. And again, just note, it does have that little bit of a damage uh, right there on the edge. It's not super sharp, but you definitely feel it. And more importantly, you can see it. So that's why it's only three bucks. You get that one for letter W. Uh, another piece, this would fall if the edges weren't so pointy. I mean, these are, this is, it's a molded piece, but these are, th this Pentagon has some, some, they could cause some damage. I would think this was a shot glass, but I think if you started drinking out of this, you would cut your lip because these are not, they're not chipped or anything. They're just points. They're, it, they're sharp. So I do believe this is a um, toothpick holder. There is an inclusion in the glass right there. So again, that's when it was manufactured. It's not damaged after the fact. And it also has uh, the, the, uh, five point sided bottom and hmm, can you see it? Yeah, you can kind of see it there. You, the at bottom is faceted. So they just kind of did a really cool design to this. I have a feeling this one isn't actually as old as some of the other ones, but I have no way of knowing how to date it. So I got it as part of the collection. So it's being sold as part of the collection. And this one is letter X. And that also is $3. And then the last one uh, that I've got in the $3 collection is another pressed glass piece. This is one of those that uh, was made to kind of imitate brilliant cut glass. Unfortunately, this also has a little bit of damage right there at the top. You can see it's got the nice little rounded crenellations at the top. And then you've got that one where one of the little rounded pieces are broken off and it's also kind of chipped into the body. Spin it around, put something in it, you won't even notice. Because uh, there's some great detail to this. It's not cut glass. Um, it is pressed. There's also uh, a really nice pressed design in the bottom. Um, this one, yeah, it's also a two-piece mold. So you can see the molds right there. And there's one other on the other side. So uh, it's harder to see because there's so much design in it, but it is pressed. Uh, so you've got a beautiful piece here, again, with that tiny bit of damage at the very, very top, which puts it down to the $3 category. And you get that one by giving me letter H for that $3. Going into another, uh, got another silver plated piece. 
This one, I also found uh, multiple of these online. And if you're not familiar with my channel, that's sometimes how I determine whether something gets sold here versus on eBay. If there's already a bunch of these listed, my eBay presence is not very big, so I don't have a huge following there. So things tend to not get found if they're competing with a bunch of other things. So this one, I found a few, not nearly as many, um, but enough that I figured, you know what? And they were selling for pretty good prices. I mean, they were pretty much, I think all the ones listed were listing for over $35. The one or two that I found that had sold recently had sold like somewhere in the $40 range. Uh, this one does have a little bit of damage. You can kind of, if you look at this, what should be a perfect circle at the very top, as I turn it, the very top, you can see there's kind of flattened a little bit. So I'm not going to try and fix that, you know, so just be aware of that. Um, but it is a James Tufts piece from Boston. It is marked on the bottom. I don't know if you'll see it, but it has the silver plated uh, name on it. And it's a uh, shape of a dog. I think it's just a regular dog. I don't think it's a foo dog. And the dog is holding a bone. Um, so, you know, it's an attractive piece. It's not... Um, perfect condition. So it's not going to go for some of the prices that the others that were showing on eBay were selling for. So I knocked the price and this one is $25. So the little silver plated James Tufts silver plated dog with a uh, toothpick holder, $25 by giving me number 95. Another uh, piece of silver plate. This one is William Rogers. Uh, I don't know my William Rogers, uh, um, hallmarking very well, but it's the WR. I don't know if that's an earlier or later piece. This is just a really simple pot design. So again, kind of low compared to some of the other ones. So the toothpicks would stick very nicely out of there. It could even be for small sweets, you know, nut cup or something like that. Um, cause it does have a fairly flared top as well. It just has a really pretty scroll design that's going around it. Uh, it is silver plate. And it's very tarnished. Nate would be ashamed of me. I have not cleaned it, but based on that, it's, you can see there's like a shinier part to the bottom and a duller part to the top. I still think the silver plate's all there. It's just maybe the way it was treated. I'm not, I don't know. And this was one I couldn't really find online, uh, but it is, I did figure out that the WR stood for William Rogers. So beautiful piece, simple piece, inexpensive piece. This one is $6.00. Six bucks by giving me number 76. So I've got another grouping. Uh, these are $5 items. Uh, and there's not as many of these, but I'm also going to go through these relatively quickly. This is getting into a couple of the different materials. Three of these are porcelain. So I'll start off with the first piece of porcelain. This one, it might be stretching a little bit that it's a toothpick holder. Um, it's just a small vase, which there's nothing saying you can't use as a toothpick holder, but I don't know if necessarily that was what it was designed for. I think this was just a cabinet vase that you would just hold for something attractive. It's very nicely painted, you know, with an uh, image in a little cartouche that's got the gold uh, trim around it, a beautiful cobalt blue color, perfect condition, glaze on the inside. This one is marked royal royal blue medallion, uh, Germany. So not made in Germany, just made, it's just Germany. Uh, so this is only five bucks. So again, trying to get some of these things out there inexpensively, $5 for the little German base by giving me letter U. Uh, the next $5 piece is also uh, porcelain and kind of has a German look to it, possibly an Asian look to it. It does have a marking on the bottom, which would indicate it's either trying to be the cross swords of Meissen and failing miserably, or it's something about a Mount Fuji with uh, like a little mountain symbol with another Asian symbol underneath it. It is a, just a cobalt trimmed, and you can see there's some gold accents in the cobalt. So it has a Western style design, which makes me think it's trying to be European, but with that mark, it does seem like it's an Asian mark. Uh, but there's no other marking. So it's either older or had a paper label. Uh, it's not as old and it had a paper label. I am not sure. It's just got a great little scallop top, flares out a little bit. It is decorated on all sides. So you can put this anywhere and it'll show all the designs and fully glazed on the inside. Five bucks for the cobalt trimmed piece by giving me letter C. A Z. 
uh, $5 for this face for letter Z. The next one is also marked. This one is made in Germany. So a little bit later, Luchtenberg porcelain. This one has, again, a little chickadee on the front uh, with some berries. It kind of looks, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but kind of looks like a tree trunk. It's flared out a little bit, so it's much wider at the base than the top. And it's kind of like, I don't know if that's just a draping effect or if it's trying to look like the roots of a tree trunk. I'm not sure. It doesn't have anything on the back. It's only decorated in the front. And if you look really, really close, you can see there's kind of like a, a, a like a really light gray, bluish gray iridescence just around the top, which just kind of gives it a really cool look. So again, it says it's marked on the bottom, Luchtenberg, made in Germany. And it is also five bucks, five dollars by giving me letter K. The last piece in the five dollar collection is a piece of glass. It is damaged, but it is uranium glass. And I don't typically like to have things that are damaged, but this one I thought was unique enough that it kind of compensated for the damage. So first, it, you can see it is a toothpick holder. It kind of looks like a kind of castle rook in design. St. Ignace, Ignace, uh, Michigan. I'm not familiar with the location. You can see there's a cr fairly large crack running along the side and uh, some damage on the bottom. It's better you can see inside, but it has a beautiful glow. So this is falling into the category of, if this were in perfect condition, it would be worth far, far more. The fact that it still is that uranium glass and it has the gold accents on the top, gold accents on the bottom, gold print on the front. It's just for people that collect uranium glass, I think this could look kind of cool in a collection because sometimes people do it with those black lights, you know, on the shelf so that everything glows. This has a beautiful, bright glow to it. So, you know what? It has damage. So I'm just going to price it accordingly. So that's why it's only five bucks. So $5 for the little uranium glass toothpick holder with the damage, $5 by give me letter G. The next piece, uh, standalone piece, one of my favorites, and there's, there's only a couple that I do have no interest in building a brand new collection and certainly not a collection of toothpick holders. Nothing wrong with them, but that's not where I, my life is taking me right now. But there were a couple of examples that made me reconsider, and this was one of them. This is an absolutely fantastic urn shape with lion head edges and a silver plated cap. Now the cap is extremely thin that my initial thought would be, well, maybe it's just tin or aluminum, but it does seem to have tarnish to it. So there's no hallmark or anything. So if it's anything that's plated or it's just another piece of metal that is oxidizing, but I do believe it's silver plate. It's very heavy for its size. Uh, so it's very thick walled. I'm not going to say that it's crystal, but it does seem to have the weight of something that might be crystal, uh, but it is pressed. Again, it is a two-piece mold. So you can see the mold line on that side, and then there's another mold line on the opposite, but it's got this beautiful rope design on the bottom. It's got the ribs all the way around the bottom of the flared bulb and then very smooth sides. And then just check out, hopefully you can see them, just check out the face. You know, just that absolutely brilliant mouth. The mouth is open in a roar. Just some fantastic detail for something that's just a simple toothpick holder. So absolutely love this piece. Uh, selling this uh, for $15. If you like this uh, glass with the silver plated trim, $15, you can get it by giving me number 50, 50. $15, number 50 for the silver plated topped uh, glass. And this last batch is quite a bit larger, uh, but this last batch I am selling everything uh, for $4. So I will go through these relatively quickly. And these are the mix. So this has some porcelain, some glass, and also has my one and only wood piece. So I'll actually start with the wood piece because it's a little bit different. It has Michigan engraved in the top. It has um, some, you know, designs, graffito work done around the edge with the red base. It, unlike the other ones, which are all open at the top, this one just has the smaller pieces. I, or smaller holes. I do believe this is for toothpicks. I think these are too small to hold um, cigarettes, possible to hold matches, but this wouldn't be enough of a striker. So I, I do think that this is a match, a, a, a um, toothpick holder. 
what I found interesting is I tried to find some information on this one because there's it's not marked, there's no label. I did some Google Lens search and everything that I found, these were all made in they were all made in Mexico and actually had Mexico written or Acapulco or, or you know Puerto Vallarta, you know, almost like ship tourist items. So the fact that this one says Michigan, I'm assuming this probably was made in Mexico, maybe as a tourist item, but they were promoting Michigan in case you missed Michigan. So this one is a Michigan wood um, toothpick holder and you get it for $4 by giving me letter Y. The next one is, I mentioned the piece that was trying to be, uh, try, maybe trying to be Asian, trying to be European. This one is clearly trying to be Asian. Uh, and I'm not, I, again, now I'm not sure if this was made in Europe to look Asian or if this was actually made in Asia because this is transfer wear. And you can tell that because of the seam where the design that was applied around the edge of the cup, that's where it met. So this is not a hand painted piece. Sometimes they're hand painted in addition to that. This one is completely raw bisque on the bottom. So it was never glazed. And it just feels like a mass produced piece beautiful condition and decorated on both sides. So there's some really nice attraction to it. I do think it's an inexpensive made in China piece, um, but it could have been made for the Western market to honor the uh, that blue and white look that became very popular. Uh, a lot of people collect the blue and white. This is just a small, simple glaze on the inside as well. Toothpick holder for four bucks. You get it by giving me letter M, $4 letter M for the blue and white. Uh, getting into some colored glass, this one is an absolutely beautiful ruby red color, perfect condition, no chips, no cracks. Ooh, should have checked checked on this. I haven't played with this in a long time. So this is, I think, moon and stars and not stars and bars. I always get them confused. I think that one's moon and stars because it's a circle with the star in the middle of it. But regardless what it is, it's an inexpensive um, toothpick holder uh, for those who are looking for a piece of ruby red glass to go in your window. It's a gorgeous piece of red glass, perfect condition, no chips, no cracks, and it is only $4 by giving me letter T. $4 letter T for the ruby red. Another piece of porcelain. This one, I tried desperately to figure out this to me looks like if you follow Antiques Roadshow, Antiques Road Trip, which is my my favorite favorite of the two. Um, there's something called Cornish wear. It's not Corning wear. Cornish wear, which has these blue and white stripes. It's just a blue and white stripe. It's not marked. It doesn't say who made it. I can't really tell. It kind of has the same color as the other pieces I was finding, but I don't know what it is. So it may be Cornish wear. It could just be something made in the 80s because it kind of looks like that Wedgwood blue color. Uh, who knows? But it's just a simple glaze on the inside and out. Two very nice blue stripes, unmarked. Perfect condition, no chips, no cracks, and you can get it by giving me a letter D for $4. Uh, going into another pressed glass piece, this one has a little bit more uh, detail to it and is in better condition than some of the others. It still has the gilding on the top, and it kind of has a gold wash on the bottom. You can see it's like it looks clear here, and then as you turn it, it kind of takes on a different tone. So it looks like there was some gold on the bottom that some of it has worn away, but it still is giving you that gold feel or that gold look. Um, again, I think it's a toothpick holder, could be a match holder because these are very, very rigid uh, grooves, uh, crosshatch grooves all the way around. So those could be match strikers, but again, staying with the fact this was a toothpick holder collection, Staying with the toothpick holder, uh, it's only four bucks and you get it by giving me letter F. Uh, we've got a beautiful pale pink depression glass piece, uh, later piece, because I think this is probably more like 40s, 50s. It has the uh, cut design into it. I don't know if you can see it closely enough. You can see they were actually cut in lines. It's not just, you know, smooth cut. So I think it's still wheel cut, but it's wheel cut in a very different way. Absolutely gorgeous design, both front and back, leaf and floral. You can also see on the top, it has kind of a scalloped edge to it. And it's just a, it's just a very sweet piece. It is also only four bucks and you get it by giving me a letter C. I then have two which are in the uh, Scottish thistle 
design. So you can see that bulb on the bottom uh, and then the flared top with the little rough edges designed to look like a Scottish thistle. Uh, this one I think is still just pressed glass, although I don't think I ever found the mold lines on this one. Um, but I don't think it's cut. I do think that these designs on the side were pressed and they don't feel sharp enough to have been actually cut. And if you look at the top, there is a ridge where the crenellations, I, I, I guess that's where they were molded or where they were added separately. So it's just one of those cases you can see a line all the way around that top. Uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And it is also $4 by giving me a letter E. The other thistle design I think is crystal. It's quite a bit heavier, not quite as tall. The bottom has the faceted cut, still is the bulbous bottom, has a no design on the actual bottom. And the edges do seem sharper. So it's not quite brilliant cut. So it could still be pressed, but they just, they're sharper. Uh, so this I do think is lead crystal, um, but it's still just toothpick holder. It's still got the Scottish thistle shape and it's still only $4. So $4 for the, crystal, the lead crystal uh, holder by giving me letter I. So only a couple pieces left. This is another uh, clear cut and possibly crystal. Uh, because again, the way this is cut, you can feel the cuts a little bit more specifically, and it does seem a little bit heavy. Not as heavy as the, not as heavy as the thistle, um, but it does seem heavier, and it's absolutely just pristine on the bottom. So I do think that this is another lead lead crystal piece. Helping see, there's that kind of the grooves going down, and then the three cuts in the middle, and then more grooves going down. So because of those mid cuts, I don't think that would be a mat, mat striker. It does have like a little bit of that ridge, but I do think this is just, it's flat walled in the middle. I think it's a perfect size for holding toothpick holders or a really tiny candle would probably bright shine really brightly in there. Probably look really pretty, but it's a toothpick holder and also only $4 and it is letter V. And the last one is the last piece of colored glass. This is another piece of pressed glass. This has more of a pink color and I'm actually gonna show the two side by side. This one has a much deeper coloration than this one. I think they're all, this almost has a peach color to it, but I do think it's still considered pink. This is definitely pink. Uh, you can see the designs are pressed onto all sides. It has some really pretty ridges on the top that are in, still in good condition and also has the big starburst pressed into the bottom. So this one is also $4 and you get it by giving me a letter S. And that's it. So I cranked through a ton. Hopefully not too quickly. I actually did this video twice because the first time I was planning to do photos and dropping them in, but I was still having to show them because a couple of them had damage and it got to be, it just seemed silly that I was doing this all separately. So I literally just re-recorded this entire video. Um, but I think it was probably better, but I just realized there's a lot of stuff. So hopefully it'll be easy enough to ship. Uh, but again, if you're interested in anything, be the first to claim. I will not be monitoring the sale as it goes uh, up because again, I will be in rehearsals, but I will do my best to hop on later tonight and keep a running tally of things that get claimed, but just watch the chat if things do get claimed. Feel free to claim something even if it's already claimed because with this format, there are some people who claim something and then never follow through. So if you're interested in it, you can always, if you see someone else got it before you, you can say you wanna be a backup. And if I don't hear from that other individual, you will then be guaranteed that slot. So just keep that in mind. I, I will be continuing the rehearsals with this show into January, the show opens January 20th. So at some point, hopefully I'll go back to live videos. I've considered doing a live sale on a different night, but with the holidays and everything else, schedules are just crazy. So for now, I'll be doing drop sales. I believe Beth from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties will be going back to a drop sale shop hop again in January. So hopefully I'll participate in that. Uh, and then I will probably run a, another drop sale shop hop in February. But I hope to get back to live sales as well. But I hope you're enjoying these. And if you're interested in any of these things, again, claim in the comments and I will get an invoice out to you. So thanks so much for your time. Thanks for putting your trust in Trusty Hexter. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Well, show me a sign if you're wishing me to stay. Otherwise, I say goodbye and finish out the day. And that sunrise in the morning and you got nothing to say. Oh, that's when I'll be headed on my way.